Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. This is Curse of Strahd. And in this video, we're going to have another little look at our scarecrows. So in the last video, we put in our twig blights and our scarecrows. And one of the things that we said is these scarecrows come with this terrifying gaze ability, um, which doesn't do anything. So I'm in combat at the moment. It is this Scarecrow's go. We've targeted our elf over here. Terrifying gaze. It prompts the enemy to make a saving throw. If I disadvantage, hopefully we'll fail it. Uh, we didn't fail it. <laughs> uh, but let's try that again. And hopefully we'll fail it this time, please. It's only DC 11. There we go. Definitely failed it nothing happens even though we got a natural one um so there's no automation and everything now you don't need to have things fully automated but wouldn't it be nice if it at least at least did something at least told us what that character the result was for that character so that's what we're going to do in this video we're going to fix that all right so let's have a look at terrifying gaze and let's edit it and we get our description here Okay, now I'm going to pop that in the middle and zoom in in the edit. I know sometimes I forget to actually zoom in in the edit. I do apologise, but I'll try and remember this time. So, Scarecrow targets one creature. It can see within 30 feet. Right, so first of all, let's go to our details tab. It Activation cost one action. It targets one creature with a range of 30 feet. Yep. So that's the first part. Brilliant. If the target can see the Scarecrow, the target must succeed on a DC 11 Wisdom saving throw. That bit should already be in there if we look at the bottom. Saving throw, Wisdom, DC 11. And we saw that that was already kicking in to try and roll for us. Good. Uh, if they fail it, this is the bit we're really interested in. Um, they will be magically frightened until the end of the Scarecrow's next turn and the frightened target is paralysed. So this is where we need to not look at the details but look at the effects tab. And we want to add an effect on here. So this terrifying gaze effect, we want to edit this and what we wanted it to do is we do not want to apply it to the actor, the person who's using the ability. So we turn that off. But what we do want to do is apply a status condition and we can apply that frightened and we can apply that, did it say incapacitated? Is that what it said? Let's just double check. Paralyzed. Okay, so let's, let's get it right. <laughs> so not incapacitated, paralyzed, thank you. Uh, so paralyzed, so frightened and paralyzed. That's what we want it to do. Now what's important is this a bar above here that says stackable. Effects do not stack by name and effect origin. Now that frightened and paralyzed are both coming from this terrifying glare, which means it's the same effect origin. So we want to change that and just say don't stack by name. And what that means, if they're already frightened, it won't make them frightened times two. They'll stay frightened. But it will allow us to go frightened and paralysed. All right, so that's what we want on there. Now we need to look at that duration. Now remember, that duration said that it will it lasts until the end of the Scarecrow's next term. Um, we need to put in a special duration for this. And beautifully, there is one turn end expires at the end of the source actor's next turn that's exactly what we want but this isn't going to work at this point because what it's going to do it's going to see this effect duration one round and it's going to go what well, a round's finished and it's going to end that we don't want it to end at the end of the round we want it to end at the end of the source act source actor's next turn so we can take that out so let's submit those changes. Uh, we can close that. And now let's try again that terrifying glare. We have to make that saving throw. We might fail it. We're going to fail it. There we go. Now look what happened. Okay, so 
we've now got a number of things apart from the little animation we've got from automated animations um, that's put on there we've got a whole bunch let me untarget there we go we've got a whole bunch of things on here now what actually are these effects these effects are incapacitated frightened and paralyzed because a paralyzed creature is incapacitated if you add paralyzed it automatically adds incapacitated so we're now frightened paralyzed and incapacitated and we've got the little icon up there for terrifying gaze because i haven't put an image on it um, that works now we need to check that it's going to time out now we don't want it to it's the scarecrow's go we don't want it to time out at the end of the scarecrow's go we don't want it to time out at the beginning of the scarecrow's go but we do want it to finish at the end of the scarecrow's go and it, that's worked so that's worked exactly how we wanted it to do okay so that's how we update that item now because i didn't want to mess this up i have already created that item uh, and I gave it a little icon. So now we've got this terrifying gaze here. Let's move on to the Scarecrow's Go again. And we can target. So I just updated the icon on this. I literally went through and uh, in the edit I clicked up here. And I selected. It was actually from the icons Magic Unholy. And I found that particular silhouette one. And I just went with that. Because it doesn't really matter. But it's nicer than having a, a non-event. So again... Just try dragging this one on here. This item now works. We can roll a four. We're incapacitated. And we now get this icon at the top left instead of that shield and sword default icon. Much, much nicer. So that's our scarecrow working now. Yeah, that's it. Job done. So all I need to do is to make sure that my main scarecrow here is equipped with that right correct item get rid of the one that doesn't work and now whenever i drag out my scarecrows they come with that correct working terrifying gaze so i just thought i would share you with that with you because it's useful for you guys to see like that process and using dae and putting the effects on and stuff um and the fact, the fact that these things do work is very nice indeed. There we go. It all went. So anyway, just a short one. Take care. See you in the next one.